Hey, John Horn coming to you from my kitchen today. And uh, we're, in this video, we're going to go over how you can create a simple shuffle blues pattern from your first position major chords in the key of G. So you'll want to make sure to start off with that you know your G chord. This is the three fingered version. If you know your four fingered version with the pinky and uh, ring finger, that'll work just as well. Of course, your C major chord and your D major chord. So here's what we're going to do for, there's three things you need to know. For the G chord, you're going to take your index finger and on beats two and four of the measure, we're going to move our index finger up to the D string, the fourth string, second fret. Try just alternating back and forth a little bit at first. And then when you add uh, an eighth note strong, maybe with a little bit of swing and a little accent on two and four, you get this, three, four. Now, same thing for the C chord, we've got our C chord. Same basic idea, but this time, we're gonna take the middle finger and move it up to the third string, second fret. Let's practice moving that back and forth, keeping your other fingers, first finger and third finger right where they are. And then we'll add the eighth notes. Now the D chord is probably the hardest one. Here's your D major chord. And with this one, you want to take your pinky finger and on beats two and four, place it on the third string, fourth fret. Keep one, two, and three where they are, and bring the pinky in. I've got dogs wandering around. Adding the eighth notes. You might be able to put this into a blues then, of course, so you can do something like, um, Well, come on, baby, don't you want to go? Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home Chicago. So that'll work in any blues, and some uh, pop songs as well may just have a little measure of shuffle. Hey Sammy, come here. Come here. Sammy up. This is Sammy the Wonder Dog. Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Bye.